Canva is an online tool for graphic designers where you can create all kinds of graphic designs, presentations, social media posts, logos, flyers, YouTube thumbnails, you name it. I am using Canva for many years now and I use Canva for creating images for my online courses and for my YouTube video thumbnails. But the images you get from Canva, they have very low DPI. And DPI is a term used for printing images. It is an acronym of dots per inch. There is another term used PPI or pixels per inch, which I am going to explain at the end of this video. What is the difference between DPI and PPI? Because you are here to know how we can increase the DPI of Canva images. Therefore, I will explain this first. But before I start, my name is Tahir and I make videos about online tools. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. And now let's get started. When you create a design in Canva, you click on create a design and then you can click on custom size and here you can select any width and height in these units pixels inches millimeter or centimeters but it doesn't matter what pixel size or what image size you choose when you download the image the dpi characteristic of those images are very low in canva i have created two images in canva one is this yellow background and if I show you the size of this image this is 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel. The second image which I created is the same image with a different background and it has a size of 5000 pixels into 5000 pixels. Now let us see what DPI we get from Canva. I downloaded these images and this is the folder in which these images are stored. I click first on this image and then I right click and I open this image in paint because in paint we can check the DPI of the image. To check that I click on file properties and in resolution you can see that this Canva image has 96 DPI and this is the pixel size of the image as you can see here. Now this is the second image which has a size of 5000 by 5000 pixels and when I take the properties in paint you can see that the resolution of this image is still 96 dpi. So it doesn't matter what size you choose in Canva. Now we want to increase this dpi from 96 to 300 and why we want to do that this I will discuss at the end of this video. And now let us see how we can increase the DPI of Canva images. To do that, when you download the image, I should download this image not in PNG format, but in PDF format. So this is the first step. So I click on download and in this PNG column, I select PDF and PDF there are two options, PDF standard and PDF print. And you can select any of these, but let us assume that you need very high quality image, maybe more than 300 DPI. So in that case, you should download in PDF print. So I click on that and I download this image. Now I saved this as to improve dpi.pdf. Now there are many tools which you can use to convert this PDF into a high DPI JPG image. But the tool which I am using is called PDF to go. So in Google, you just type PDF to go and press enter. And this is the website. This is a free PDF editor, which you can use even without signing up with these guys. And in one of my videos, I have explained top five free PDF editors. I will put a link of that video at the end of this video and you can watch. But I am selecting any one of those five at random. And now this is the tool which I want to use PDF to JPG. It will convert my PDF to high DPI JPG image. So I click on that and I choose my file. You can drag and drop, but I click on choose. I select my file, click open and now this is my file name and it has been uploaded. Now these are some of the settings and this tool allows you to convert a PDF 
to a JPG having up to 1200 DPI, which is a very high resolution. So I select 300 here and then I click on start. It starts processing as you can see and now my file is ready to save. So I click on save and now this is the file. I right click and I open with paint. And now if I click on file and properties, as you can see that I have 300 DPI resolution and the pixel size has increased from 1080 to 3375 in both directions. So this is one of the tools which you can use to increase the DPI of your Canva images. Now let us see what is the difference between a DPI and PPI and few other things. DPI is an acronym which stands for dots per inch and this term refers to printer resolution. DPI basically has nothing to do with digital images. No, PPI or pixel per inch, this term is used for images as well as for devices. And because we use these terms interchangeably, Therefore, not many people know the difference and where one term should be used. And in the next and last slide, I will also show you why this confusion exists. But first, let's try to understand these two terms. These dots per inch are DPI. So these are basically ink dots per inch, which a printer can put on the paper when you are printing an image. So this is basically printer resolution. Now, when we use PPI for image, it represents the size. When we prepare any image for printing, this PPI becomes important. And I'm going to show you an example of this in a minute. When we use PPI for device, it represents the pixel density of the device. And this pixel density determines how sharp a digital image will look to you. But this also depends on other things like brightness and your eyes, the capability of your eyes. So let me show you first an example of PPI for devices. And then we will discuss this size thing. So I am on Apple website and these are various iPhones. And if you go down in the description of these devices, you will see this PPI of all these iPhones, iPhone 12 Pro, 12 mini and 12. They have different screen resolutions as you can see here. This is the PPI or pixel per inch also called pixel density of a device. Now let's go back. No matter how high a PPI of the image is, the sharpness of the image which you will see will depend on the device. And now we will discuss why there is a confusion between PPI and DPI, which is basically this part, printer resolution and this size thing. Both of these have a relationship and that relationship is a point of confusion. Let me explain this with an example. Now the main reason we have a confusion is because PPI also affects the quality of the output of the image when it is printed. And the recommended value of PPI is between 200 and 400. And as I mentioned that when we are preparing any image for printing, we look at PPI. So let us understand PPI. For example, you prepared an image on Canva with 1920 by 1080 pixels and you want to print this on a card which is 6 inches by 4 inches. This is the print size you want from this image which has 1920 by 1080 pixels. So the PPI or the pixels per inch in the width are 1920 divided by 6 inches. So 320 pixels per inch. On the other dimension or on the other size, the height, we have 1080 divided by 4 inches which are 270 pixels per inch or PPI. So this is how you calculate PPI. Now 320 and 270, both of these are greater than 200 and less than 400. It means that both of these PPI values are within this limit, acceptable or preferable limit. 
so we will get a high quality print which will look good after printing now let us say that we have the same size image but we want to print on a 12 inch by 8 inch postcard or any brochure now if we calculate ppi now in the width ppi will be 160 ppi and in the height the ppi will be 135 simply divide the number of pixels in any direction by the size of the paper on which you want to print and you will get the ppi so in this case both the ppis are not in this range the ppi is less than 200 therefore you will not get a high quality print so after this example i am sure that you will understand that if you want to print an image on a large paper you must create that image in large pixel dimensions and i think canva allows you to create images up to 5000 pixels wide and 5000 pixels high you can double check this on canva website now because this ppi affects the printer resolution sometimes when we mean dpi we are referring ppi or vice versa but actually when the printing will happen the ultimate resolution of the print will depend on printer resolution if you keep this ppi in good range but your printer is not good the dpi of the printer is not good then of course you will not get a high quality print this concludes our tutorial on how to increase the dpi of canva images and what is the difference between dpi and ppi if you like this video please share with your colleagues and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time